Hi, my name is Jamie Ellingstad. And I'm Rebecca Ivkovich. And we are the co-directors of Young Voices at Kathy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like to dance too? And we play some games. Do you like to play games? <laughs> And we wanted to just show you a little bit about what we're up to and um, why you should bring your kids over to have a good time with us on Tuesdays. Charlie over the ocean, Charlie over the ocean, Charlie over the sea, Charlie over the sea, Charlie the blackbird, Charlie the blackbird, can't catch me, can't catch me. Ocean is how we start our chorus at the beginning of our rehearsal. This gets everybody involved, everybody settled and ready to go, and it's a fun way to get everybody engaged. two groups and they right now they're split from kindergarten to second grade and then third grade through eighth grade and we tailor those two groups to their their different learning styles and their ages. With the younger group we tend to do a lot more games and singing activities. And fun. We try and make it as, exci as exciting and as fun as it can be. Um, we change things up so the children don't get bored which is age appropriate. A lot of movement activities mm -hmm. for the younger kids. And for the older, we are working on mentoring. So if we have uh, a group of fourth graders or third graders, um, we have them sit with our younger students and help them along, maybe point out things in the music. And it instills confidence and good self-esteem. And it also helps our younger ones along as well. Mm -hmm. Because they're really at a lot of different places. Um, some of them read, some of them aren't there yet, and so having an older kid help them follow along helps them see what it's like to look at the music while they're learning to sing it, but it's not something they'd be able to do on their own yet. Also, um, we like to do different kinds of music, so we might do a classical piece, we might do a song in Latin. Um, we also might do a wonderful song from Ghana or South America. We don't like to limit ourselves um, to just one genre of music. Mm -mm, we go all over the world and through time. I like Young Voices because it goes from kindergarten to eighth grade, I think. And then you can become a leader, I think. Or well, like a helper leader. I have a lot of people approach me about their younger children and say, he or she loves singing so much and I, I think I'd like to put her in voice lessons or he really, he really wants to take lessons to sing better. And as much as I would love to just spend private time one-on-one -on -one helping a kid enjoy singing, I always tell them that it's really a much better idea to get them involved in a choir, um, whether it's a church choir or a community choir, um, put them in the community musical, and so Young Voices is a great opportunity for those kids who want to learn to be better singers, but it's, they're really too young for private lessons. Rain, 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 rain. Laughing, go together. <laughs> as much as we want to focus on fun and games and, and just having a good time, behind all of that is strong. Um, musical skills and vocal technique. We, we really stress from the very beginning how important it is that they warm up their bodies, so that their voices are warmed up, that they have good posture. Um, breath, we work breath all the time with fun bubble games and breathing games, using um, our whole body to get, the, to get the singing mechanism up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, and we never uh, push our children uh, to sing loudly, we 
know children's voices are very soft and delicate at this um, stage in their life, and that's something we're very aware of also. Mm -hmm. And as they get older, then we work on a little more, a little more complex technique, um, pitch and mm -hmm. intonation and blending as a choir. A little bit of sight reading too, thrown in there for fun. If you like to sing, um, come get more experience with young voices. That'll help in doing musical theater. It'll help doing theater because we talk about the meaning of our songs and portraying what that song is about. And I find that children who love to sing like to do it all the time, any place, anywhere. So if they're in five things at school, they um, want to be in four other things outside of school. So I think there's a real opportunity to bridge um, between school and community. If you'd like more information on how to join Young Voices, follow the instructions there. <laughs>